While women weep, as they do now, I'll fight. While little children go hungry, as they do now, I'll fight. While men go into prison, in and out, in and out, as they do now, I'll fight. Where there is a drunkard left, where there is a poor lost girl upon the streets, where there remains one dark soul without the light of God, I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. While women are beaten, frightened and shamed, I'll fight. While families can't afford the basics of food and light and shelter, I'll fight. While freedom from prison more often means only a ticket back, I'll fight. While ice and heroin and GHB and alcohol poison people's lives, I'll fight. While girls are forced captive across borders and into bedrooms, I'll fight. While there are those without hope, without light, without love, I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight till the very end. Are you battle ready? <laughs> Jane, what are you talking about? Are you battle ready? Are you ready to fight for yourself and for your fellow human beings? Even more so today, we as a Salvation Army need to hang on to what William Booth laid down all those years ago and fight for those who can't fight for themselves. We need to step up our game and be the protectors, the guides, the light that can get them through the hardship and confusion they are feeling. We need more than ever to be a Salvation Army. While women weep as they do now, I'll fight. While little children go hungry as they do now, I'll fight. While men and women go to prison in and out, in and out as they do now, I'll fight. While there is a drunkard left, while there is a poor lost girl upon the streets, I'll fight. While so-called Christians lack love, I'll fight. While followers of Jesus remain behind the pews of life and don't enter the trenches, I'll fight. While men and women paint false images on social media platforms rather than living in truth, I'll fight. While suicidal thoughts plague our kids, parents, and even pastors, I'll fight. While having melanin continues to be a barrier in our nation and around the world, I'll fight. While prejudice and racism lies in the hearts of humanity, I'll fight. While human trafficking is still in existence, I'll fight. While drug addiction destroys our school system, churches, and families, I'll fight. While mass shootings are becoming as common as a cold, I'll fight. While people place more faith in a flag and a country than they do Jesus, I'll fight. While politics continue to crush our unity as followers of Christ, I'll fight. 
while the church continues to be a country club for the self-righteous rather than a hospital of hope and restoration, I'll fight. While we remain dead bodies underneath our polyester or tropical wool uniforms and don't speak up against injustice, I'll fight. While there remains one dark soul without the light of God, I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. There are sick and suffering that haven't seen the love of God. When I first watched this recent interpretation of Booth's Arfite speech, it hit hard, hurt bad, and made me cry. 
Why? Because it made me realise even today there is still so much suffering going on in our communities and even within ourselves. It seems so much to take in and can be so overwhelming, but this is the time we need to come out of our cocoon and step up. Those that have a faith in God know how blessed we are to have it. Those who have a passion for justice, you see the poverty, misuse and abuse on our streets. All of us need to step up and become battle ready. This is the time to help people heal. This is the time to create small pockets of heaven here on earth. This is the time to be the voice of those who are voiceless. This is the time to stand and be united to bring peace, harmony and calm for those who struggle with the everyday. This is the time that we draw people in to receive and experience spiritual peace and serenity. This is the time for ourselves to stand in our faith and be the soldiers, warriors, whatever you like to call yourself and fight. This is the time to claim our nation back for Christ. I know it's easier said than done, but we shouldn't fall at the first hurdle because we have God as our commander in chief and he enables, he equips and he empowers us to do so much. So my dear fruitineers, remember our series on the fruit of the spirit? Let's grab that armour, let's stand, sit or kneel together and bring our people out of the darkness into the light. Over the next few weeks, we will explore the idea of how to get battle ready. Looking at Jonah and the struggle he faced. Looking at the armour God provides for us. And then we will celebrate in the victory that is ours in Christ. So let's get battle ready. Where's that chocolate cake?
army, captain of our soldiers. May your glory fill the earth as this world grows colder. May your troops be bolder. May we fight with only love. May the cross. Ah.